Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I want to discuss a new product design that I'm really proud to introduce because a lot of my clients have been asking me about it. Actually, a lot of my future clients have been asking me about if I had anything like a toolless mounting solution like I have for my G251Xs. Um, and I went to the drawing board and I designed one. So overall, what we've got here is a beautiful piece of 6061, clear anodized, um, drilled tap 440 with the, the dual mounting screws on each end. Um, again, three inch by 10 inches long. Um, basically what we're looking at here, very, very simple design. You can see I've got the G201X here mounted uh, just temporarily to show you exactly how this goes. You do have the terminal blocks that are actually off of here because, of course, with the ProGrade Gecko drives, you have to remove them to actually mount the drives. Um, and again, I wanted a very, very simple to service, simple to mount drive mounting solution that encompassed, of course, cooling, which a lot of guys simply overlook. And these drives it's mandatory with. And on top of that, I wanted it to be simple. So I'm gonna show you exactly how simple this is. Again, to mount this, all you'd have to do is drill two, screw, two holes in your chassis base. Once you drill those two holes, of course, she will mount into the base. And then, of course, you use your two thumb nuts to manipulate removing the actual drive mount heatsink slash. So overall, very, very simple design, and again, if you order two heat sinks, you can either go modular with them and actually stack them. And again, we can come over here. You can, we can use a larger screw and just go one over the other. Um, one of the caveats to that, you will have maximum space uh, accrual that way. But one thing you will also lose is the ability to see the drives underneath. Now, I had some guys ask me that. They said, you know, I want to do it modularly. Is there a way we can do it to where we can see the drives underneath? So that sent me back to the drawing board and I wanted to design a kit so that we can actually mount them toolessly the same way with brackets. And all you're doing is coming over here once again in real time. You can mount these in a matter of minutes. Or actually, I should say seconds. There's only two screws. You just undo, come over, mount, bring it in. Come in, and you're done. And just as fast as it is to put them on is as fast as it is to take them off. I mean, it's it's that simple. So the beauty about this, of course, it is a modular design, and it's over under. And on top of that, you still get to see the visuality of the G203Vs if those are what you're using. And, of course, if you are using them, they do have, an, uh, on top of their power LED, they have an orange LED that will illuminate once the drive is putting out uh, enough current to give the motor full torque. It'll turn orange. So if your axis is moving and you see that orange LED come on, you know that your motors are producing the torque that they were designed to produce. So keep that in mind. That This is something, again, that I can add on. If you decide you want that, you can add the modular mounting bracket system if you're using G203Vs, if G201Xs are used, uh, or G203Vs and it doesn't bother you and won't be able to see the drives underneath and you want maximum space accrual, then you definitely want to go with uh, just a standard over-under design. Design. And again, to demount this, and the, the beauty about this, I'm showing you this in real time. So if you did have to do this with a system, you could do this in the same amount of time. And again, downtime would be at a minimum, which anyone will tell you that's running a business, that is the enemy. Lift it off. All three drives come out just by undoing these two thumb nuts as fast as you see me do them there, and you're set to go. So that's the beauty of this, and that's how fast we can do it. And again, um, I think it, it fits the bill. You've got maximum cooling potential. You've got maximum serviceability, simplicity. Um, and again, I'm trying to make it cost effective. I mean, uh, this is not nearly as expensive as what's out there currently, and it's certainly the, the ones that are out there currently are not toolless. They're not simple. Um, if you guys do want a fan system, because I do recommend using a fan system with any of the cooling solutions I offer, um, I do offer the Sanyo Denki 10,000, or excuse me, 100,000 hour uh, brushless cooling fan. It is rated at 48 volts. If you do want to use that with this and you want to add it to, the, to a heat sink fan combo, let me know. I'll give you the fan for an additional $20. If, uh, I, the reason I'm not really putting a package like that together currently is mainly because these drives encompass up to 72, actually up to 80 volts. I recommend using 72. Um, and some guys will want to use a fan that's rated at a higher voltage. 
if you decide you want to do that, that's fine. Um, again, the Sanyo Denkis, they push out 60 CFM in a very, very small platform in 60 mil. So just keep that in mind. But overall, again, you have endless possibilities now and, a, and just a super efficient way to mount all your drives in a very, very quick fashion. A lot of times you'd have to drill and tap or, you know, just get all your templates up to do everything if you don't have access to a mill. And this makes it all too easy. You can have all drives mounted in a matter of minutes. Um, and in the kit, I want you guys to know you are going to get all the mounting solution. You are going to get the 440 screws. You're going to get, of course, um, and that's for three drives, all the 440s. You're also going to get the toolless mounting solution. And I'm going to throw in heat sink compound. So you guys are set with this kit. All you would need is the drives. So I wanted to make it as complete and as efficient as possible. Once again, if you do want to add a cooling fan, let me know. I'll do my best to work with you on what required voltage you need. Um, again, the 48 volt, this, the, the Sanyo Denkis are just amazing to cool these drives. Um, if you do need more voltage, but again, I can, I'll can i work with you. I'll see exactly what we can do, and we'll, we'll find one that fits your application. Um, once again, I do thank you guys for watching. If you guys do have any questions, um, I can be reached at storm, S-T-O-R-M, 2313 at gmail.com. Uh, if you want to message me direct through my uh, e-dealers direct automation store on eBay, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. The link will be actually in the description of the video, so you guys can just check that out. And once again, I thank you for your time, and thank you for your support. Take care.